Hi, this is Brian Carlson from NXP Semiconductors. I'm Global Marketing Director for Automotive Processing, and I'm excited to talk with Green Hills, uh, one of our uh, key partners here, actually working on several of our S32 platforms. And I'm with Joe Faber. And Joe uh, from Green Hills is going to give us a demonstration of how they're bringing all this NXP technology together and leveraging it with their, their tools and software capabilities. And it's exciting. So I look forward to talking to you, Joe. Thanks, Brian. Yeah. Yeah, we have a, a long history with NXP, and we've got very broad support across the S32 family. Uh, Green Hills is an embedded software provider. We make compilers, we make debuggers, uh, we make JTAG and trace probes that work across your product family. We also have um, hypervisor products that scale from microcontrollers up to the application class processors. Uh, as well as our flagship product, which is the Integrity Real-Time Operating System. And we're featuring Integrity pretty broadly um, in our integrated software design vehicle uh, demonstration. Uh, and sort of the, the centerpiece is actually buried in, in here. It's the S32 G3, and we're run, running that as the gateway processor in this right. vehicle network. And we've got lots of different components that are connected. We've got a driver monitoring system, uh, we've got this consolidated cockpit, we've got the radar. The radar is an S32 R45, another NXP part. We've integrated our development tools as well as integrity with the radar SDK okay. from NXP. And we've, we've built a demonstration so that we can move further and you know, back and forth and visualize that radar data here. In addition though, this you'll notice there's an Ethernet cable coming in here, and we've got a sum IP network that's oh. going through the gateway. Okay. So we've got a service-oriented architecture where we're, we're broadcasting information from the radar. That's actually being picked up and displayed on our instrument cluster over there. Oh. And so you can see that car, the white car moving further away as, as, as I you know, back up and get closer. Um, We've got another NXP processor as well that's actually across the way. Underneath the floor, oh. there's, there's a CAN bus. All right. And we're running a zone controller that's on your S32E processor. Okay. On that one, we're running our microvisor, type 1 hypervisor, hosting eight different guest operating systems. One of them is a battery management system that's broadcasting CAN data that's, again, being picked up by the S32G wow. okay. and piped up um, you know, to various places. But in addition to sending it across the vehicle, the S32G is also piping all of that data up to the cloud. And so we partnered with Excel4, okay. and they have a system called eSync. There's yes. an eSync client here, and then the eSync server runs on the AWS cloud. And so the data that's being collected, all the diagnostic information is, is posted up here, and that right. can be viewed from anywhere in the world. Oh, that's so, awesome. So, you know, live here from, from Nuremberg, an embedded right. world, you can go onto AWS and see the data from our booth anywhere in the world. That's awesome. Yeah. What I really love about what you're doing here at Green Hills is that complete story, the comprehensive story, leveraging the technology from the hardware that we're offering, the virtualization, the hardware isolation, which is so key for software-defined vehicles, and bringing the Z and the G, the E, uh, and also the radar. I, I didn't know the radar was going to be integrated here. This is nice to see. And yeah. having CAN traffic going under the show floor here is interesting. The visualization, and Excel 4 is one of our partners, too, and seeing how that all comes together. So. It's amazing. Plus, on top of that, you have advanced tools and new tools. I don't know if you want to talk to that. We do, and, and in fact, uh, you know, maybe maybe too much detail for, for this interview. Yeah. But yes, we've integrated, especially on the radar SDK. Um, we have a new visualization tool called History. Okay. We've integrated that with a lot of the event processing that happens in the radar SDK, so you can visualize on a timeline. Um, offloads to things like the LAX processor, the SPT, you can see that happening in real time. And That's it's, amazing. It's, it's very... Uh yeah, it's very visual for, for developers. That's great. With those, because those, those, are like, those are like linear algebra DSP types of accelerators, and actually getting visibility into that yeah. for development is really critical. So that's yeah. that's nice to hear. It's so great. It, it just extends the story even more, right? It's leveraging all the technology, both outside the chip, interfacing with other partners, and looking inside of our chips to help developers be more efficient. And so that, yeah. That's a big part of the value of Green Hills is, you know, the... It's about safety, security, time to market, but a big part of what we do also is developer productivity, and that's where those tools come right. in, where you can find really complex problems in a very short amount of time when you've got the right tools that give you the visibility into right. things like you know complex timing operations, yeah. things like and especially that. Especially with these systems, the software-defined vehicles and zonal architectures, a lot more things are going on that are new, and having the right tools to be able to you know take full advantage of it to accelerate your development is critical. So I appreciate your time. 
love the demo. It Thank you. brings it all together. Uh, and uh, thanks again. Nice to meet you here at uh, Embedded World. Good to see you too. All right, take care. Thanks.